Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we are. Wait, this isn't night? I'll go with you. If only to reassure This silence. is not night. What does night look like? Oh my god. Accept or refuse. Oh no 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 no. Why not? You can help. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the help. Let's go. All the help. Let's have help. Officer Bradley, age 37, occupation police officer. This hit cop likes order and justice. He's no great sleuth, but he seems more inclined than his colleagues to discover the truth in the Hawkins case. The inhabitants of the island seem to be friendly with him. He could help me in my investigation. Cat, age 24, occupation gang boss. Boss of a gang of bootleggers which seems to use dark water as a hideout. Cat always keeps an eye on her territory, the zone of abandoned warehouses on the docks. I have the impression that all the men on Darkwater fear her. Even Mitchell, the owner of the Stranded Whale, is reluctant to talk about her. She uses Darkwater as the point of departure for her cargoes of whiskey, and she is slowly gnawing away at Captain Fitzroy's territory. Okay. Places. Hawkins Mansion, Gardens. The Hawkins Mansion is perched at the top of a steep cliff, because of course it is. The abandoned garden harbours the graves of the Hawkins family, and only the old caretaker Silas Winchester still roams this bleak spot. He protects it fiercely and still puts flowers on the graves of his old masters. It's a gloomy place. Okay. Hawkins Warehouse. Officially unused since Charles Hawkins' death, this warehouse recently housed a clandestine resident. Signs of life attest to the fact. The presence of blood-stained bandages must also be noted, probably removed from a wound, as well as pills, painkillers, and sleeping pills. Moreover, the occupant seems to be obsessed with Sarah Hawkins, as attested by the presence of several documents connected to the artist's life. Photograph, press cutting. But it is the discovery of a partly charred painting, recognised by Officer Bradley as having come from the Hawkins mansion, that allows all doubts to be lifted as to the link between the contents of this building and the Hawkins case. Right. Now, I do have four points available for my character development. I was thinking of trying to boost investigation to, it, to become an expert. Well, I'm already an expert. Whatever the next step up is. Or perhaps even spot hidden. These require six points. But psychology only requires four to take it to the next level. And I have to say, I have a feeling that could be useful. Not just gauging the crime scenes as I did back at the docks, but when meeting new people. Honestly, I think spot hidden psychology and investigation could be the sort of like three that work really well in figuring out what on earth is going on which does seem to be the priority, although eloquence and strength probably help getting the information needed to do these. But I do, I do think I want to boost psychology. Yes, I do. Okay, validate. Yes, indeed. Right, so. Sanity still seems pretty good. Stable. Confidence in your abilities and your Cartesian mind. Yeah. I wonder how long it will remain there. Okay. So, just follow the nice police officer. Yes, indeed. Does he have a gun? Do you have a gun? You should have a gun, right? I don't see your gun. Where's your gun? Why don't you have a gun? Have a gun! to end up with the only police officer in America without a gun. Oh. I laid me down and slept. I waketh for the Lord, sustaineth my... Stay with the police officer. Okay. Okay, these are the graves. You, uh... You're just gonna hang around while I do my thing, right? Okay. 
Poor kid. Yeah. Why are the pots all broken? Oh no, this is the fu the pots are broken for the father. Oh. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say it's pretty gloomy. So, detective. Does this place inspire any thoughts? Um, someone desecrated one of the graves. Yes. Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Okay, such a strange final resting place. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Yeah. Let's go to the mansion. Well, but before you do that, I, I just want to... Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. All right. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. Yeah. Okay. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. You don't think the caretaker did do this because he knows something that we don't and blames the father? Uh, do we want to talk more? You said give you a minute. Are you saying you don't want to follow me any further? That's exactly what you're saying, isn't it? I'm on my own. Brilliant. Yeah. This is not a great idea. No, it's not. Now, the caretaker is a little, um... Uh, Officer Bradley, I don't suppose you had enough time now, have you? No. Okay. That's fine. The tree has fallen there, right. The front door would seem to be barricaded. I'm going to assume... There is no way I'm getting through there. I'll have to find another entrance. Yeah. I keep hearing footsteps. It's a bird. I kind of feel like the wings are glowing slightly. Oh, it's... I I thought there was somebody lay there for a second. I really did. Okay. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Okay. Whoa. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa. Uh. Uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. Yes. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. I'd ra grab his axe. The unlocked answer. Do not defile this place. You're hindering the police of the work. Okay. Okay. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. 
It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Okay, you want to get rid of me. Sarah was important to you. You should re investigation. You shouldn't really need this key. I just want. You sh you shouldn't really need this key. I don't understand what that means. You shouldn't really need the key. I wanna I wanna find out about Sarah Hawkins and why she was important to him. You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. Okay. Here, take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then, just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Okay. Silas Winchester, age 64, occupation caretaker of the Hawkins property. The old caretaker of the Hawkins family, Silas Winchester, still watches over the family graveyard and the burned-out mansion. Devoted to Charles Hawkins, whom he all but raised, he also has great respect for the memory of Sarah Hawkins and their child. Simon, his long months of solitude in the abandoned property have made him very distrustful. Silas still puts flowers on the graves of Charles, Sarah and Simon. Yeah. Okay, there's the police officer. You could have done with you being here a little while ago, to be honest. Pierce, shall we enter? Yeah, uh, actually. What? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. All right. You're right. Let's go. Okay. Are you coming with us? Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. The guy with the axe is not. He was holding that axe in a very, you know, axe murdery way. Follow me. I know the place. Okay. Who left this light on? Give me a second. Give me a second. There was some. Okay, I gotta follow him. There was... I, I, I got the urge to inspect something there. Okay, curiosity. Do me a favor, don't go anywhere. I could have sworn for a second I s sort of saw something. Corner of my eyes. No? Alright, just stay with him, stay with him, stay with him. Woo, keep, keep. The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Okay. Oh, so when I do this, it's like I'm there alone. All right. I'm imagining how it was before. What kind of meat is this? Oh, please don't ask questions like that. This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. So I failed to identify the meat with medicine. Okay, then. I failed. Yes, I did. Okay. No father in that picture. Is there anything else? Find the fire scene. Okay, let's just keep wandering around and looking. 
So, were we looking for whatever it is that caused the fire? Is that what we're trying to do? No. Oh, he stood up quickly. He's ah, something crashed on the ground. The boy was probably here. Right. Smashed his plate on the floor. Father stood up. Knocked his chair over. Okay, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Okay. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Okay. Something happened at this table. An argument? Right. So they had an argument. The boy dropped his plate. Was it in disgust? Did they suddenly realize what the hell the meat... What the hell is that? Okay, that's mildly horrible. Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again. The last... Working, thing. officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Okay. Okay, just, just... Are you hearing that? Can I close this? Is that a good idea? Okay, just give me a second because I got... The Last Supper. Since the fire in the Hawkins mansion, the dining room has remained intact. The settings allow the places occupied by the family members to be determined. Visibly, etiquette was respected, even in private. Charles Hawkins sat at the head of the table, with wife and son on either side. The knocked over chair could be due to something that happened after the fire or could confirm the theory of a domestic argument. It looked more like an argument. Clearly the roast was untouched in certain plates. The meat, mysteriously preserved since then, seems to have been the subject of the dispute between the Hawkins couple. Yeah, it looked fairly gross. Okay, I've got a key now. Okay then. Silas managed to bring the fire. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. It's already too late for the Hawkins. Okay. Is he gonna say anything else? All right, let's do this. All right. So, oh, hidden clues. Okay. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Okay. They had a fight. Why? Oh. What is that? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Is that... Is that her? Green belt grip. Same clothes. It is. That's her. She's laid out. So she fell here. One of her shoes fell off. Oh. Did he hit her? Did he? Did he kill them and then set fire because of shame? Is that what happened? Did it stop at the time of the fire? Maybe. It's odd, I know the boy is not there, but I do not want to step. Okay, this is the painting If the spot. painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Okay. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Uh, possibly. So I found all the hidden things. Is there something not hidden that I have yet to notice? Possibly. It's still telling me to investigate. So what have I missed? 
that's in there. It's not the door. Oh, no, I've got right. I thought this was to open the door. There's a handprint on the door. Did someone escape the fire? Oh. Was there somebody else in the room? Or did this person come afterwards? Did this person come afterwards? Is there still more? I can't leave the room. I cannot leave the room. Are we done? Are we done or have I st I'm sort of afraid I've missed something. No, I think we're done. I think we're done. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. That was... Sarah. Someone... A desperate attempt to flee. They set fire to someone. So, detective, what do you make of it? It's official. The police botched the investigations. The clues don't match. Should we just tell him? Should we just go for full on? The clues don't match. They kind of do. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. <laughs> What's your theory? Uh, that I don't... It looks like there was a fight, but I don't know whether it was the couple or someone else. I, I, I don't know. That's the thing. The couple were arguing by the looks of things, but I don't know whether that was what was going on. But they were arguing... I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. Okay. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, okay, I'm, I'd be in serious trouble. I need a light to activate those. Okay. Rats. Yeah, I'm not sure that in the end they were fighting. I, they set fire to someone and he ran out. But that was... That was the father, I suppose. But I, for some odd reason, I'm not sure. Because someone did get out, and I'm assuming they found the father's body. Okay, I can't. Okay. Okay, dude. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. Somebody was and in... given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. Okay, you know what? I was. Did I miss anything here? Yes, I, I, he, I'm following him, and I'm missing clues. He should be following me. Okay, let's go there later. Let's go there later. He should be waiting for me. History of medicine in the... Oh, nice. Excellent. So I've got a little more medical progress. Am I any better? No. One CP needed before... Right, but I can't use normal CP for this. That's the thing. No, I can't. Can't like boost it along. So we just need to keep looking for books and the like and reading them all and stop letting him stress me. Because he is stressing me. Oh god, has he gone massively ahead? He has. Okay, there's other things to find. Crowbar. Okay. Crowbar. Could prove useful. 
The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. <sighs> this door right, is that's, blocked. This from is outside. so. This is the front door. This is the front door. Okay. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So. Okay. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Okay. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Yes, some massive sea creature that haunted a man. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, don't talk to him yet. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Anything else? What? Okay. I'm hearing some strange things. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Yeah. Do we have anything? Uh. Oh. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Okay. Wait. The 14th? The 14th century? You mean the 1400s, right? No. The human body, comparative analysis. This, is this going to be more medical? Is this going to... Nice. So I am now... Am I not a little... No? One. What? R really? Come on, aren't I? Don't I keep getting closer? Willing it along. All right. Do I not need to talk to him? Invest... Just... All right, so now I can just investigate freely. I don't need to follow him. All right. To be honest with you... What I really want to do now. Is double check I did, didn't miss anything when he dragged me around a little too quickly. There was another door. There was another door. So I'm now just going to run around all by myself. Did we miss anything here? We came out of here. Right. Okay, was there anything back here before we came in? I want to do a double check to see I didn't miss anything while he was stressing me. Okay, that's where we went in. This... Okay, that is the other side. All right, what is... Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Okay, common knowledge that he wasted... Uh, right, Charles Hawkins poses like an explorer in front of exotic ruins. That would be Giza. Uh, it's common knowledge that he wasted away his fortune on expensive trips. What was he looking for? Strange occult items. Probably. I may need to check my clues to get a quick recap. Yeah, that's where it came out. This. This door is locked. Okay, then. That is a creepy looking forest. Yes, it is. Like, see. Think we 
got everything on the downstairs. I did check here. Should I t talk to him every now and again? I already checked that book. Oh, he's going to stay down here. That actually suits me just fine. I'm going to head on upstairs and see what I can find there. in there. Oh. Nice little light. Oh, hello. Huh. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead. Hecate? Daughter of Tartarus. I thought the mother of Scylla. Is it... Well... Isn't it Hecate? I... Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Not an expert on Greek mythology. No, I'm not. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. Okay. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. None of this is particularly, uh... Oh. Okay. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. I'm more worried about the ornaments in front of it, to be completely honest with you. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Cool. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I keep seeing things through the corner of my eyes, and I have a horrible suspicion it's just my imagination playing tricks on me. Yeah, I'll tell you what. What new things have we found? Now, forget that. Clues. Clues. We have got a smashed oil lamp. According to the police report, this lamp is the cause of the accidental fire that destroyed the mansion. However, the bloodstains on the debris tell a different story. It was thrown at the feet of someone to set them on fire. A partly burned shoe. It seems like it belonged to Sarah Hawkins. I have a feeling she was knocked down before the fire. And she lay on the table and a shoe fell off and it just burned. The glass of this, clock, of this heavy clock is broken and the hands show ten o'clock. It could give us a time of the fire, or have nothing to do with it. Scene of the fire. Contradicting the police report, the Hawkin, Hawkins drawing room tells a totally different version of the fire that claimed the whole family, beginning with the presence of a handprint that throws the possibility of a survivor. The bodies of Charles and Sarah left no mark on the floor, nor to that matter in the drawing room, contrary to that of the child still visible close to the fireplace. Right, but if Sarah fell onto the table... She wouldn't leave a mark on the floor. Charles, by the looks of things, was burned and got out. Could that be the person who's been living in the warehouse? The same goes for the glass... When it, in the drawing room, contrary to the just separate. The same goes for the glass shards on the floor. A close inspection reveals the presence of blood on several of them. On the wall, the very clear mark left by the painting found in the Hawkins warehouse confirms that the Hawkins case could be much more than a domestic accident. Did the father survive, and is he the one that smashed all the vases on his own grave because he's angry and feeling guilty? Photograph. Yeah, okay, I've already done that one. All right, then. Inventory. I have a crowbar. Going to be useful. Just really wish. Why would a sofa be knocked over there? Really? Okay. Must have been. Get him beer. Beer of a 
creepy vibe. Okay. Key? Nice. Found a key. Alright. So that'll get me into one of these rooms. Probably the one that the key was found next to, right? Nothing else was here. Uh, is that a scratch? Oh. No. This is what... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's, um... That's a bad sign. That was a bad sign. Okay, this, this... The boys' room. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm 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 leaving the other room to last, I think, because because reasons. Basically. Okay. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Don't overthink that. I mean, it's a kid thing, isn't it? Could have been. Alien ninja psycho bears. I mean, it, it's a kid thing. Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Okay. I want to check those pictures, but... Oh. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old he boy. Had what was wrong with this family? Nightmares. He had nightmares. That's what. What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Yeah. Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Yep. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Oh, wait, no, no, I, I, I was leaving. I was leaving. I was leaving that, wasn't I? Okay. Is there anything? No. Okay, question. How did I know about the pictures? The argument that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering for some time. Simon's private journal. He seems worried about his mother and her attacks. Tension also seems to be growing between the Hawkins couple. Could the fire be the result of an argument? Yeah, it definitely could be. But I have a horrible feeling now that it was more than just an argument. I mean, I know I said it was an argument. I'm just... What will her room reveal about her? Okay, so this is Sarah's room and this was... That's the locked room that I'm not all that keen on checking yet. What is that bloody sound? A barbiturate prescription from a certain Dr. Fuller. Okay, Dr. Thomas Fuller, Riverside Riverside Institute, Dartwater, Massachusetts, date 7th, uh, 21st of the 7th, 1924. 75 milligrams of ibo, no, amobarbital sodium to be taken every four to six hours as required. If attacks become too violent, add 25 milligrams of phenobarbital barbital, up to three times a day. Do not consume alcohol or any other medication during the period of treatment. Dr. Thomas, take to dark water general store that's a massive dose was sarah violent okay hmm yeah hmm sarah hawkins sketches look more like a gallery of horrors than anatomical studies do they represent what haunts her night It's possible, I guess. 
Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Okay. Barbiturates, they act as a depressant of the nervous system, but once again, once you begin, you can never live without them. Of that I know something. So she was an addict. She was an addict, but she was also giving sleeping pills to her son. Yes, indeed. Is that upstairs? There's, oh, uh, God, there's scratches all over things. Yes, indeed. Okay. This should lead to the same. Oh. I think this leads to, leads to the same place. Perfect. Uh, so I didn't need to find the key. Okay then. So. Yeah. Never a good sign, is it? Just gonna open that door. Oh my god, there's scratches on the wall, on the door as well. Okay, so they summoned something? Or tried? And went mad? Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Okay. My, my very dear Sarah, ever since you left to bury yourself away on that lost island, your art has been attracting increasing numbers of collectors. I beg you to send me some new paintings. The last one's so somber and strange, moving as no other paintings have been, are selling at a premium price. Your percentage of the most recent sales is attached. Do not forget your friend, who was the first to recognize your genius and display it to the world. Affectionately yours, Maximilian L. Yes, I'm very reluctant to step in the middle of that. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Okay, are any of the... Painting for Dr. F, treatment. Painting for AD, returned. The Shambler for F.S. Gift. Okay, so she gave a painting for Dr. F as payment for treatment? But she had one of her paintings returned by A.D. I wonder if that is important. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Yeah. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Okay, Charles Hawkins scribbled a kind word to his wife. Fate brought us together, and forever will but it will bind us. Okay, it's nice, I suppose. Okay, that that's not. No, that's not good. All right. Can I enter the investigation thing, like? No. <sighs> okay. Am I doing it? Am I doing it? <sighs> I got. I got. I gotta get on here to investigate it. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Was she interested <sighs> in the occult? I'm going to go with yes. 